Lauren Hawkins is listening to this area of Jarrah Forest near Mundaring in the Perth Hills. I want to find out what is making the sounds and then learning how this information, how we can use that to make sure that we're conserving and managing these forests into the future. Out in the bush, Ms Hawkins sets up small recording devices. These wonderful nifty little devices here, very, very small, um, they get set up, can be put up in a tree or on a, a picket, on a dropper, and they record the sound waves of whatever is making sound in the environment. Over time, the recordings will allow scientists to monitor the health of an ecosystem by monitoring what native species are present and also what invasive species are active in an area. This way of using ecoacoustics is a relatively new field of science. It has great potential for application because it's cost effective, it's non-invasive, it can be um, you, know, you can put it into remote places, um, they can be out for a long period of time and can collect very high resolution data. Back in the office, scientists have hundreds of hours of data to analyse, but with the introduction of AI, that job is becoming easier. We're still in the, the journey of this tool being developed to be applied to mainstream monitoring practices, but we're on our way and it's, and it's really exciting to be a part of. The project is expanding to capture soundscapes from bushland throughout the southwest of the state. It's an absolute privilege to be able to walk in nature and have that connection of closing your eyes and listening. Pamela Medlin, ABC News.